This video explains the concept of capital dividend account. Let's analyze two scenarios. In the first scenario, Charles bought real property for $100,000 in 2001 and sold it for $1.1 million last year, thereby generating a capital gain of $1 million. His taxable capital gain will be $500,000. Assuming a tax rate of 50%, he will have tax liability of $250,000. Now in the second scenario, Charles owns CCPC Incorporated. CCPC Incorporated bought real property for $100,000 in 2001 and sold it for $1.1 million last year, thereby generating a capital gain of $1 million. Charles wants to cash out this money. The taxable capital gain for CCPC Incorporated will be $500,000, just like the first scenario. CCPC Incorporated will pay $200,000, assuming a tax rate of 40%. The remaining $300,000 will be paid to Charles as dividend income. After applying the dividend tax credit, Charles will pay another $50,000 on his personal income tax return. So the total tax paid in this case is $250,000 too. But what happened to the non-taxable gain of $500,000? This is where capital dividend account comes in, as it allows private corporations to distribute the non-taxable portion of capital gains and other non-taxable earnings to shareholders as a tax-free dividend. The $500,000 non-taxable capital gain will flow to CCPC Incorporated's capital dividend account. CCPC Incorporated can issue tax-free dividend to Charles at any time by filing a Form T2054 with the CRA. Watch our other videos to learn more about taxes.